In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make an employee inactive in QuickBooks Online. Now, this process is straightforward, but must be performed carefully to ensure that you update the status accurately. So let's dive in and walk through this together. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in to your QuickBooks Online account. If you're not already signed in, head over to the QuickBooks Online sign-in page. Here, you'll be prompted to enter your credentials. Make sure you have your username and password handy, as you'll need these to access your account. Once you've entered the necessary information, click continue and you'll be logged into your QuickBooks account. With your account open, locate the employees section. You can do this by navigating to the left hand menu where all the features are listed. Look for the payroll section and from there you'll find employees. Clicking on this will bring up a list of all your employees. This is your main dashboard for managing employee profiles. Now you'll want to find the specific employee whose status you need to change. Scroll through the list or use the search bar at the top to quickly locate the employee profile in question. Once you've found them, simply click on their name to open their detailed profile. Next, focus your attention on the actions menu within the employee profile. This is where you can make adjustments to their profile, including changing their status. Click on Actions and a drop-down menu will appear. From the drop-down menu, select Change Status. This action will allow you to alter the employee's current active status. When you click Change Status, you'll see options to switch their status to either Active or Inactive. Select Inactive. It's important to understand that setting an employee to inactive doesn't delete their information. Instead, it simply removes them from active payroll processes, meaning they won't appear on your active employee lists or receive any payroll checks. Once you've changed the status to inactive, remember to click Save. This step is crucial because it confirms the changes you've just made to the employee profile. Without clicking Save, your changes won't be updated and the employee will remain active. And there you have it, with just a few clicks you've successfully changed an employee's status to inactive in QuickBooks Online. This method allows you to keep your records organised and your payroll running smoothly without unnecessary clutter. If you have any uncertainties or need further assistance, QuickBooks offers a vast array of resources and customer support to help guide you through different processes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other QuickBooks tutorials for more helpful tips and tricks.